What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are comparing the All-Terrain KO2s to the Mud Terrain KM3s. For this test, I'm going to be comparing general ride comfort between the two tires, as well as noise level at 35 miles an hour and at 65 miles an hour. Now let's start off with driving the KO2s around. Now these guys have been on the Land Cruiser for quite some time now. Um, I bought them used a few years back and um, they've served me really well. They've been a good tire, good for off-roading, um, very quiet on the highway, uh, really no complaints. Driving the KO2s around, there isn't much drone. Now obviously there's going to be a little bit more road noise compared to if you had a stock tire, uh, like a street tire but it's not bad, or maybe I've gotten used to it to where um, there's really no complaints. The only reason that I'm thinking about upgrading is because these guys are already worn. So at about 40 PSI, which is what I usually have these guys aired up to, the ride is fairly comfortable. Um, the noise is not too much. Um, you can hear, it's definitely louder than your stock tires, which I believe was a 265 something 16. Um, these guys are a 315 75 16. So I think that calculates to almost 35, 34 and a half, something like that. I am roughly at about 35 miles an hour. I have the air conditioner and the radio off and let's take a look. right around 80 decibels so um, you know obviously the iPhone decibel meter is not going to be the most accurate but it'll be good for a comparison now let's get this thing up to 65 okay so that's right about 65 obviously we're on the freeway now so let's take a look I would say roughly around 85 decibels on the freeway. Now obviously on the freeway, there's gonna be more than just road noise from the tires. There's gonna be trucks zooming by, there's gonna be wind noise from the daylighters and the roof rack. So um, I do expect it to be a little bit more noisy. However, a difference of five decibels uh, seems to be about right. So I finally got the new tires installed yesterday and they are amazing, check it out. It looks so much better, so much more aggressive than the old KO2s. These KM3s look the business. 315, 75, 16, in case anybody's just wondering what size fits the Land Cruiser to where it looks good. So next up, let's take this guy for a spin and see how it drives. Off the bat, the KM3s definitely look a lot more aggressive than the KO2s. Well, obviously because it's a mud terrain and uh, the uh, blocks, the, the shoulder blocks on the tire are just a lot more aggressive uh, compared to an all-terrain tire. Um, driving around at this slow speed, now I roughly have about like 100, no, not even, maybe about 80 miles on it. Uh, I was driving around a little bit yesterday, but um, driving it around town normally, I don't feel a difference at all between the KO2s and the KM3s. So going over bumps and little imperfections on the road, there is practically no difference between the all-terrain KO2s that I had and the KM3s. Now, obviously you gotta keep in mind the KO2s were worn down to like the last bit of life and the KM3s are brand new. I guess they're not even heat cycled that much, but so far there's no difference driving slow speeds. Just by looking at the tire tread blocks, the KM3s are so much more aggressive, you'd think there would be a clearance issue on the Land Cruiser, especially because my all-terrains were worn down pretty bad. However, to my delight, exactly the same size tire, which is a 315, 75, 16, there is, so far, no rubbing issues. Now, obviously, I clearanced the uh, inner fender wells a little bit, even for the KO2s. However, so far, um, I've been driving it on the street, on the freeway, I haven't had any issues to where I had to trim any more. As far as comfort goes, uh, there really is no difference I, that I can tell. Um, you know, of course, it's still gonna be a little bit louder than your average uh, street tire that you get, you know, Michelin or Dunlop or whatever. 
um, especially because it's got such aggressive tread block. Now, as far as performance goes, um, I don't think there is a huge difference between the weight of the mud terrain and the all terrain. Um, so as far as driving goes, I don't drive really fast. I mean, you know, it's just the Land Cruiser. It's not made for speed. Um, I don't drive really fast. So as far as performance goes, uh, I feel like it's more or less the same as the KO2s. Um, you know, takeoff is a little bit slower than stock, obviously. Braking takes a little bit longer. Um, but that's just how it is when you get an oversized tire. Now, as far as the decibel meter, I'm doing 35 miles an hour. Now, before I think it was like 75 or something, let's take a look at what we got right here. Roughly about 82 decibels. Okay, so I'm doing roughly about 65 miles an hour right now. Again, I'm just cruising on the freeway, not accelerating, not braking or anything like that. And according to my trusty decibel meter, I would say that's roughly about 85 decibels. So it definitely is a bit louder than the all-terrains. Now what I do notice is it has, uh, even though obviously it's louder, it has more of the tire road noise. Now these guys are obviously already balanced, but they still have a little bit of the tire road noise. Not unbearable, not too loud, but it's there. Is it worth it? Now the KM3s are priced a little bit higher than the KO2s. I, I don't know what the, uh, the difference in money is, but um, it depends on your size really. But um, for me, because I do uh, go off-roading, not, nothing too hardcore, I do go off-roading roughly about once a month at least, um, I believe the KM3s will bring a little bit more value for me compared to buying brand new KO2s. Now, if you go off-roading, let's say once every three to four months, and your main duty was just driving around town, driving on the freeway, whatever, I believe the KO2s might be a better fit for you, just because they have slightly better road manners, a little bit quieter if you need to, you know, talk to kids in the back or something like that. KO2s might be better for you. Now that you've heard my experiences with both tires, I'd love to hear what you think. Have you previously or do you currently own either the KO2s or the KM3s? Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. And for more Land Cruiser videos and Overland content, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.